Investing is widely regarded as the primary mechanism for achieving retirement, but this requires careful navigation, with the most critical aspect being diversification. Welcome to part 14 of 20 in my Mind Your Money series. Do remember to check out previous and future episodes. In the world of investments, diversification is the strategy of spreading your investments among a variety of asset classes. It's essentially the opposite of putting all your eggs in one basket. The main objective of diversification is to mitigate the impact of an investment that's performing poorly on your overall portfolio. A wide range of asset classes are available for you to diversify your investments. Stocks, for example, offer potential for growth. Bonds, on the other hand, offer stability and a steady income stream. Real estate investments can yield property appreciation and rental income. Cash and cash equivalents, like a high-yield savings account, provide liquidity and safety. While there are numerous other asset classes, these are the basic ones that most investors are likely to venture into. Now let's look a bit deeper into the power of diversification. The ability of diversification to yield consistent returns over time is due to the balance it creates between high-risk, high-return investments like stocks, and low-risk, steady-return investments like bonds. When stocks are doing well, they can significantly boost your portfolio, but they can also plummet, causing loss. On the contrary, bonds are much steadier, providing a fixed return over time. They may not yield as high returns as stocks, but they also don't fall as hard. Having both in your portfolio creates a balance. When stocks are doing well, your portfolio booms, and when they're not, the returns from bonds help to offset the losses. This balance leads to more predictable and consistent returns over time. The true essence of successful diversification lies in asset allocation. You must determine the right blend of assets based on your personal risk tolerance and financial objectives. The relationship between stocks and bonds is just one example of how diversification works. The power of diversification cannot be stressed enough. A diversified portfolio is less likely to experience significant losses from a single underperforming investment and is more likely to generate consistent returns over time. Diversification could make a difference of hundreds of thousands of dollars over your lifetime. Now diversification is just one part of a broader risk management strategy. Risk management is all about protecting your investments from potential losses, but it doesn't stop there. There's another form of risk management, which is insurance. We'll cover that more in depth in the next episode, but I wanted to mention it here so it's in the back of your mind and we learn to associate insurance, risk management, and diversification as all part of the same team. Remember it's vital to periodically check on your portfolio and adjust it as needed. Your financial circumstances and goals can change, and your investment strategy should adapt accordingly. So take the time to assess your current investment portfolio for diversification. Or if you're just starting out, start on a strong diversified footing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like to stay updated on the Mind Your Money series. In summary, diversification is a fundamental principle of investment strategy, playing a vital role in managing risk and building wealth. Join me in the next episode where we'll explore the world of insurance. Until then, mind your money.